Okay, in this video I'm going to show how with FME 2012 it's easy to work with AIXM data. So what I have here is I have some AIXM data of the Chicago Air Airport. The AIXM data I'm working on here is AIXM 5.1, which is the new AIXM support which ships as part of FME 2012. So here we go. So I'm going to simply um, first I'm going to open this data. Um, one of the first things that users often do when looking with when when getting data is to first view it so that they're able to see what they have and uh, get some understanding of the data so with AXM 5.1 that's what I'm going to do here in our viewer and simply um, open that data okay now we can see the uh, data there okay, so we can see the airspaces this is the uh, the purple I can click on it and we're going to see all the attributes that are part of that data we're also going to see the geometries here with the traits that are part of the the geometries many data um, types within the AIXM are in fact multiple geometries okay so that's what I have here um, now I can turn the air spaces off so I turn that off and then if I zoom in to this area here you will see that it is in fact O'Hare Airport. So those were the airspaces immediately around O'Hare Airport. And again here I can select and inspect any feature that I want. And here's the feature level attributes and here is the geometry level attributes that are part of of that uh, um, feature that I just clicked on. Okay, so you can see all the attribute um, coordinates there and you can see the um, other attributes that are there. So, so it's as simple as that as far as um, viewing, visualizing AIXM data. Just simply point and click and you can see all the attributes that are there. Okay, so how, how about actually translating this data to something another format. Well that's easy too. In this case I just open FME Workbench and in this case we're given uh, a number of options Okay, so I'm opening this in Workbench. The input format is AIXM. Okay, and we have a num number of parameters here. So if I open this up, we can see um, what what we want to do here. So the feature properties, we can say map those as geometries, as attributes, or as feature types. We'll go with geometries for now. Also the um, the uh, attribute handling again we can say make them as nested attributes or XML fragments so if we didn't want to flatten out all the attributes we could just say make them XML fragments and um, that's how they would uh, they would come here and um, as far as um, what feature types to show by default we're going to use the schema the XSD schema so I'll first show that and um, you'll see you're going to get all the possible feature types of AIXM okay so if you're going um, here we'll just say to uh, something like shape okay. so here's all the feature types and you can see that AXM um, has a lot so this is taken from the the XSD document or the schema document so whether or not that file I picked has these um, this was going to show me everything that is possible from that uh, from an, as part of an AXM document okay so that's one way okay and if you would lay that down and then you could start to to build that okay okay the second approach is if we're back in this dialogue again is to instead of saying feature types from XSD schema is to say feature types from data set only and what this is going to do is this is going to only show me the the feature types that are part of the data set. So again, if I, you know, in, in this case, I could be I have an XM document that maybe only contains airport stuff, runways, taxiways, things like that. And um, in that case, if I want to process a lot of them, I can simply say data set only. I can also say data set only with attributes merged from the XSD. And what that'll do is that'll take the data set only feature types, but ensure that all the attributes that are part of the XSD, the schema document, are also part of that. So if the data set that you have is missing some attributes, maybe some optional attributes aren't specified, they in fact will be part of the feature. So we'll select that one. We'll select that one now. 
and you'll see quite a difference here. Okay, so here you can see now I only have the attribute, I'm sorry, the feature types that are part of the uh, document. So there it goes. So now let's click OK. We're going to go to Shape. And now what it's going to do is it's going to generate me my workspace based on those attribute fe um, those feature types only with attributes from the XSD document. So once it's generated, now what I can do is simply run this and you will see that I have the AXM document output to shape. So when I open this in shape, I will see the same geometry types and I'll see the attributes as good as they could be pushed into shape. Now shape is a relational thing. I put absolutely zero effort into breaking this AIXM apart and putting it into shape in the way that I would need it for, for my application or some other system. The whole point of this was really to show you how easy it is to start pulling apart this AIXM and getting access to all the pieces. Okay, so now I have the output here in this directory. If I open them in the viewer, what we'll be able to see is we'll be able to see the AIXM data. I better select them all in shape. And so, as mentioned, we're going to get all the geometries built. So now I'm able to start to inspect my data and um, you'll be able to see when this pops up. This looks exactly like we expected. These, these are all the air spaces we saw before. So if I turn off the air space one, there you go, and I zoom in here and you're going to find that with very little effort I now have my AIXM geometries in shape. Okay, now there'd be a bit more work to start getting the actual attributes across, but uh, there you go. It's as simple as that.